I am so excited about today's little video installment. I'm going to be taking you through a full week of workouts and sharing with you some brand new activewear. It has been a long, long time since I had any new activewear and if you've been following my channel for a while, as in since I lived in Australia, you might know that I have a slight addiction with buying activewear and new sets and just gym clothes in general, whether that's wearing them to the gym or just wearing them as outfits. But due to the pandemic and just some import issues living here in Uruguay, I haven't had anything new in a very long time. And to say that I'm excited about these new outfits is an understatement. Instead of just trying on the outfits for you here in my apartment, I thought why not actually take them to the gym and see how they perform and show them to you throughout the week. Because while I do love an aesthetic outfit, if it doesn't perform well at the gym, then, you know, it's only really doing not even half of its job. Now, all of the activewear in today's video is kindly gifted by OYS Sport, and I will have their website as well as each of the individual sets I'm gonna be showing you throughout this video. I do have five gorgeous and very different sets to show you. I specifically picked out different styles and colors to kind of branch out a little bit from my standard. I will have them all linked in the description box as well as an affiliate code. So if you do shop through that link, you will get a discount. I will have all the details down in the description box as well as it will give me a little kickback just as a thank you for referring you. So just full transparency. If you shop through that link, I do get a little bit of a bonus. And that also lets the brand know that my audience is interested in activewear and, you know, encourages them to work with me again in the future. So if you are interested in anything I show you today, check out the link in the description box and, and everybody wins. So this first set is a one shoulder little crop moment. I love that all of the crop tops are slightly longer. So it's not your average kind of sports bra length that kind of cuts off here. It's quite generously long. And then with the high waisted leggings, it's only this little sliver of skin visible. They're also full length leggings. Um, and they do have the little logo up here and also on the pants. I would just say one thing before I get outside is I took this padding out because it's kind of like a connected one. And when I took the top out of the packaging, this was like all scrunched up and kind of twisted inside and it just wasn't sitting nice. And I don't mind sports bras without padding, but it does come with padding and it looked fine if it was in the right direction. It just got a little bit tangled when they had shipped it. So keep that in mind that it does have padding if you want it, but it's removable if you don't. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Let's get outside and get moving. So this is what this set looks like all together. On Tuesday night, I decided to just go for a nice little evening walk because I was still really sore from my leg workout the day before. I always do legs on Monday. And then Tuesdays, I go a little bit lighter, either do an upper body workout or just do a little bit of cardio. So that's what we decided to do this day was just take the dog out for a little bit of a walk along the beachfront and enjoy our sunset little walk. This is what the outfit looks like, nice up and close. You can kind of see the mal texture of the fabric. It's not a full solid pink. There is little bits of white in there and it just helps to give it a little bit of dimension and keep it looking fresh and interesting. I definitely think this set is going to be a staple throughout my wardrobe all through winter and the following summer because it's not too thick that you're going to be over sweating, but also plenty warm enough to keep your legs warm in the winter time. So welcome back. It is now Thursday and I'm about to head off to the gym. But before I get into today's outfit and today's workout, I do want to quickly mention that yesterday, Wednesday, I did wear another one of my little sets, but I didn't get any footage in it. I do have a few photos, so I will insert those. But essentially yesterday I was wearing this little shorts and crop set because it was the last day of nice weather we were going to have for at least a week if not a little bit longer so the afternoon we actually spent checking out a combi van that we're interested in purchasing then walked all the way down to the beach hung out there in the sunshine just enjoying the weather while we could and then walked home and i was wearing my little set while walking home but then we walked past a little cocktail bar on the beach and <laughs> one cocktail turned into two and suddenly my trip to the gym afterwards just did not seem possible, but I was wearing my cute little set while I did it. It was adorable. If the weather does warm up enough to wear this again in the next week, I will of course film a workout in it. But otherwise I do just want to say very comfortable, love the color, super cute. That was outfit number two, but outfit number three 
is this cute little green moment. Like I said, I tried to get different cuts in these sports bras, different colors, just to mix it up a little bit. And I'm obsessed with this one. I don't have any sports crops with this kind of um, triangle, like halter neck kind of vibe, but it does just come straight down at the back. The little OYS sport on the front here. And then the leggings are the same as the pink ones, only green, have the OYS right here. And that's about it. So Thursday, I walked my butt all the way to the gym in the rain, only to find out that it was completely closed. I guess I'm not going to the gym today. <laughs> I then had to turn around and walk home again. In the end, I ended up doing an at-home upper body workout, which you will see here. Turns out due to COVID cases increasing again we actually have new restrictions which means that gyms are closed for the next two weeks so i decided to just do a little at home upper body workout instead these are all the exercises i did these weights here i believe are three kilos so they're really not super heavy but my upper body strength needs a lot of work so i feel like three kilos is really not too light for me. I don't mind going a little bit lighter just to start with and hopefully soon when the gym opens back up, I'll be able to increase my weight and build some more strength. I then finish off with a little bit of abs, as you can see, Nacho, my dog, and then Pippin, my cat, of course, had to come and say hi as I was working out. Let me know down below if you have pets, if they will come and sit right, right by your face the second you start doing ab workouts. But that was it for Thursday's workout. All right, it is the next day and I am back with another outfit and another workout. As you can see, today's little outfit is a little bit different, a little bit more fun. We've got some fun patterns and I'll show you that in just a second. So today I'm just going to be showing you a little at-home booty workout. Same thing as I did yesterday, I'm just going to show you one set of each of the exercises and then repeat that two or three times depending on how much energy I have. So let's just focus on the positives for today and show you the outfit. So this of course is just a classic racerback style sports bra and the fact that it's got this fun um, purple animal print on the side it's these like two different tones and then i love this blue it's like a almost a lilac-y purple blue color i really like it it's again different than anything i have in my collection with the deep purple stitching around the edges and then the matching leggings i will just say that these leggings do fit a little bit tighter than the plain colors i was showing you yesterday and the day before i don't know if it's just the fabric or if it's the style because they are kind of two-toned as you can see, it's got the print all the way around the back and then down the sides and it does just get a little bit thin at the back. So I feel like these leggings in this size on me are definitely not going to be squat proof, whereas the other ones were. So yeah, on me, these leggings are not squat proof, mostly due to the size, I'm assuming. I feel like if I had them in a size medium, which I would normally go for these days in the legging, I think they would have been a bit better, but just because they're too tight, they are stretched out quite thin at the back and that just can lead to a bit of see-throughness and that's not really what I would like to be wearing to the gym on leg day if I'm doing squats or like lunges and things where it is going to be further stretching out the fabric. It's just not ideal, but since I'm working out at home anyway, it doesn't matter. Or if I was just wearing this to go for a walk or to do like arms or something, then it's really not a big deal. If you've seen any of my previous at home workouts or just any of my workout videos in general, you'll know that I love to start out my lower body days with some like booty band workouts. It just really helps to activate the glutes and get everything warmed up. I then moved into some curtsy lunges, squat presses, and some of these squats into side lunges. Honestly, I probably could have been a little bit um, like a wider stance for those it looks a little bit awkward on camera i highly recommend filming yourself working out if you don't normally because it's really interesting to see the differences in what your body actually looks like versus what you think it looks like but moving on to saturday i started out the day with just a nice little walk outside in the sunshine it finally stopped raining after a few days of misery 
and this is the set. I'll show it to you again in a second when I do my little talking clip, but we have long sleeves, long pants, and this gorgeous green camo print that I am obsessed with. Okay, it is Saturday now, and this is the final outfit. So I've just been out for a little bit of a walk in the sunshine. Finally, the sun has come back out. I definitely could have done a little bit more of a workout today. Maybe I still will. I might sit down and do a bit of stretching later on, get a bit of yoga in. But I will just say this little outfit, I wanted to get a few little close-ups. So of course, we have the long sleeve on today. I do have that other green crop underneath, so that little strip is not part of it. But this crop doesn't have any padding. It's just like like a um, top material. Honestly, I would wear it on its own. Uh, I'm not too worried about like padding versus no padding, but I just, you know, it's not gonna be as supportive as having the sports bra underneath. And then it's got the nice little back detail with the little cutouts. And little thumb holes. So yeah, this is the last little look. Obviously in camo green. And these are the leggings, again, nice and tight at the waist. And they did have a little bit of like a scrunch, but detail, but I um, was pulling them up a little bit too aggressively and I've kind of like popped the stitches on that. So that is my bad. I wasn't sure if I was gonna mention it or not, but yeah, I love this. I think they would be great. But again, the fact that it's a pattern, they do seem to fit a little bit tighter than the other ones. Everything is a size small, but I probably could have done with a medium in the leggings because they yeah, had a little stitching on that little scrunch. But detail did pop, so I'll try to find some footage I took the other day when I first tried them on of what they looked like then versus what they look like now. Um, so I'm gonna take them off, see if I can fix up the hole. And yeah, fingers crossed that all is fine because I genuinely love these leggings. I think they are super cute and I want to be able to keep wearing them. But if I've got a hole in the butt, then then I'm probably not going to wear them outside anymore. <laughs> Alright, it is finally Monday and I am finishing out this video here. I thought why not show you one last lot of workouts. I have on my little blue set again and I am going to do another leg workout, lower body. I normally focus most of my lower body on like glute workouts, but you know, when you're working your glutes, more often than not you're also targeting a lot of other areas in the legs. And yeah, that's just how I personally like to train. I'm not gonna lie, ever since the gym closed, I have been a lot less motivated to work out and this always happens with me. I prefer a gym like environment. I thrive off of the energy of other people. When I go to the gym, I know I'm there to work, to work out, get my sweat on and then get out of there as soon as possible. So I have a time limit. We have to like book in an hour slot and I have to get in, get it done and then get home again. But when I'm working out at home, it's kind of like, oh, maybe I'll do it later. I can take as long as I want. Got my phone in between sets. No one's watching. Who cares? And I'm really trying not to think that way, especially since I'm going to be working out at home until at least the 12th of April, I believe, is when the current restrictions are going to be in place for. So doing my best to combat that kind of lack of motivation. So I'm caffeinated today, hydrated, I've fueled myself up, I've had some breakfast, and I am ready to just get a workout done. I'm gonna try and show you a few different exercises than what I did the other day, and then that will be the end of the video. So I would love to know in the comments down below which your favorite outfit was. Again, this is the blue top, and then these are the little shorts. They don't roll up, they don't fall down, they just sit perfectly at my like mid thigh. This is the back. Honestly, I wish I got the shorts in more colors, but considering we're heading back into winter again, I didn't want to get too many pairs of shorts because I'm not going to be wearing these when it's like 11 degrees outside. So yeah, let's get into today's workout and <laughs> show you some new exercises. So after glute activation, I moved into these squats with a leg raise at the side, then moving on to some reverse lunges. So essentially I'm just standing up holding the medicine ball over my head and alternating my legs to a lunge. Then I did a few Romanian deadlifts. Normally I would do this with heavier weights but again I'm just working with what I have in my apartment and then moving into some more sort of side kicks. You can do these with a resistance band or just holding weights and a few step ups. 
Step ups I love because they are a single leg exercise and it really helps you make sure that you are giving both of your legs equal attention. And then finishing off with this combination, which is a single leg deadlift into a squat and then a reverse lunge. I love to throw at least one slightly more challenging exercise in because it just keeps me more engaged and interested in my workout. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's little try on and workout video. And thank you again to OYS for sending me all these outfits. This video I actually published over on Instagram. So go check it out if you want to watch some more reels and photos in all of these outfits. And if you do want to check out anything from OYS, I will have all of these sets plus their website and other social medias linked in the description box. And if you use the code MADDIELUCA at checkout, it will save you 10%. If you liked today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I post new videos at least once a week over here. And I also have a vlog channel, Maddie and Ali, where I post every single Wednesday a little update on my life here in Uruguay or another fun little weekly vlog. So go check that out if you want to see more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week with a brand new video.